Sonic's Green Hills Adventures Season 2 Chapter 16 The Possession Part 1 Sonic's Point of View I was in another dream. You will join me as my puppet tonight? That is if you want to save her. Tamistra declared coldly as she revealed the vision of the inside of her base. There was Jojo chained to the wall with heavy tears in her eyes. No Jojo, leave her out of this. I demanded as tears fell while my anger grew stronger. You want her back? You can find us at my base. Remember, there's only one way to save her. Tamisra laughed cruelly. But before I could wake up, I felt something break the skin on my back. Ah. What was that, you demon? I screamed in the most agony I ever felt. Then I saw what it was, oh lip. Tamisra did it two more times. That's when I woke up. I was sobbing the heaviest and loudest I ever did in my life from the burning pain on my back. I couldn't move. It hurt so much, which made me panic even more since I had to save Jojo. But how could I do that when I couldn't even move an inch? Shit up. Long flow. Pretzel mom. Donut dad. Please help me. I screamed at the top of my lungs which was so painful to do with the wounds on my back. Shadow's point of view. I woke up instantly when I heard Sonic cry out for the whole family in the most unbearably agonized voice I've ever heard. Then I ran into Sonic's room as I turned on his light so I could see clearly what was wrong. However, I quickly wish I hadn't. When I saw the horrible state Sonic was in, as I gaped at what I was witnessing I heard our parents and Lonclaw coming towards the room. Sonic had multiple lashes on his back that were bleeding. Oh my poor baby. Mom cries as she ran over to his bedside. No pretzel mom it's not just this Tamisra has Jojo. She's using her as a ransom, but I can't move. Sonic cried in a panic. Slow down, Sonic. We need to tend to your wands first, then we'll get Jojo back, okay? Mom so seriously as she very carefully carried Sonic out of the room, and we headed downstairs. Then Mom placed him carefully onto the counter on his stomach. Now we all could see the lashed even more clearly now. No wonder he was in such horrible pain. Mom pulled out her first aid kit shakily. Sonic was so lucky she's a veterinary. Now Shadow, I need you to hold Sonic's hand for the procedure required for this type of wound is very painful. So please keep him as calm as you can. Mom instructed me. I quickly nodded and took Sonic's hand securely. Shadow, I've never been so scared in my entire life because of one this severe is happening at the same time as our cousin is being held captive. I feel so helpless. Sonic cried as Mom disinfected the lash wounds. It's going to be okay, Sonic. Me and Longclaw will even go with you to save Jojo. But we can't have you charging in there with wounds like these that would've been so subtle. I've got you, little bro. I told him lovingly as to soothe him. Tamisra's point of view. I was pacing impatiently. Sonic was taking too long for my task. Tamisra, so how much longer do I have to stay low because I've been fixing my drums for the last week and they're ready? Dr. Robotnik asked carefully for he could tell I was in no mood. It depends on when Sonic shows up, but it will be tonight. I reassured him as I stopped my pacing and looked over to the little girl. You won't get away with this, you monster. Judge just say checkily. Oh, so pathetic, honestly, did she really think she could intimidate me? It set me off so I slapped her. Shut up you pathetic human. I spat as I walked away. Finally Maddie finished tending to Sonic's wounds however. Sonic passed out in exhaustion from the overwhelming pain. This gave the family the time they needed to release their tears they were holding back so that they could help Sonic immediately. So when will he wake up? Shadow asked shakily. I don't know but he will. He just needs rest. Maddie replied reassuringly. But suddenly Sonic woke up. Or his feet could just do that for him. I Tom commented in shock. Guys, we have to go to Tamisra's base. In return for Jojo's safety, I have to become her puppet tonight. Sonic said frantically. But how are you going to do that, Geekly? Shadow asked seriously. Sonic's point of view. That's when it hit me. I had to unleash my doppelganger now, so I allowed all the memories of this first experience and Jojo being taken by that monster full of my rage and pain. In Sonic's sight, Sonic watched as the doppelganger escaped the cage and finally saw what it looked like. He looked like Dark Sonic however his pupils were a glowing blood red. The whites of his eyes were solid black, the ends of his quills were tipped in red, and so were his ankles. He also had the scars and crescent moon symbol. At last I'm free, now to take over this body and destroy everyone you love, weaker self. 
The doppelganger exclaimed as vines latched around Sonic's wrist and ankles, suspending him in the air. What? No, please leave them alone. Sonic cried as the vines tightened to keep Sonic from struggling any further. Signs, you've already lost. The doppelganger spat as he slapped Sonic so hard that Sonic blacked out Shadow's point of view. I froze in shock as I watched Sonic close his eyes as heavy tears fell down his muzzle. He screamed so horribly it was like he was a wild animal. Then his fur slowly turned to the shade of his dark Sonic form but with his cools tipped in red. His ankles were also red and he still had his scars and the symbol on his forehead. Sonic! I said once I found my words. That's when Sonic opened his eyes were red with a white turned black. All the while he was watching maniacally. At last I'm free say goodbye Shadow. Sonic spat darkly as his hand started to glow with dark purple magic. Longco get mom out of here now. Ordered subtlety so this possessed Sonic wouldn't notice. Longclaw then grabbed mom and fled from the house. I wish it didn't have to come to this little brother, but I have no choice. I said reluctantly as I got into my battle stance. Tom's point of view. I knew what I had to do, so I called him immediately. Hello, who is this? The mask, seriously. It's me, Tom Bohofsky. Sonic is obsessed and is trying to kill Shad as we speak. I replied frantically. Okay, here's what. I need you to do, Tom. Sneak out and find Marina, then meet me at Tamisra's base. I'll send you the address. Also, get Dip. We'll need numbers on our side to have an advantage. Tom struck it very seriously and hung up. I looked over at the battle between Shad and the now possessed Sonic and saw that Shad would be fine, so I carefully fled the house and got in my car and drove to Marina's house without Sonic noticing. Tamisra began laughing gleefully. What is it, Tamisra? Veronica asked nervously since Tamisra's lotter was creeping her out. My plan has finally come to fruition. My puppet should be here very soon. You know what that means, Dr. Robotnik. Get your drones. We'll soon show work that they will fall, starting with Sim. Tamisra said victoriously. This made her all eyes laugh darkly along with her. Marina's point of view. I was sleeping restlessly when I heard our doorbell ring, so I tirely went to answer the door. I saw it was Tom. What are you doing here at this time of night, Tom? I asked as I let out a yawn. Sorry, no, it's late, but Sonic has been possessed and you're his only hope now, so please come with me. Tom said seriously, this got my attention immediately and woke me up completely. But of course, Tom, I won't lose the one I love like this. Is there anything else I should know about? I replied with serious determination as we got into Tom's car. Yes, Mr. has jumped out. Tim and Dib are helping us. Let's pick up Dib and head to Timus Ruvays. Tom replied as he started driving towards Dib's house. Dib's point of view. I was sleeping when I heard a car horn. So I ran outside to see that it was Tom and Rena. Dib, we need your help, so please come with us. We'll explain on the way. Rena said frantically as I got into the car. After explaining everything to me, I couldn't believe it. The day Zim predicted is actually happening. And the fact that you you got mixed into all of this made all worse. Thankfully, I was determined and not easily scared away. All right, guys, let's do this. I said as we headed to Tamisra's base. Tamisra's point of view. I used my dark magic to see what was taking my puppet so long. When I saw that Shadow was keeping him busy, and that his family were heading to my base, this gave me a brilliant idea. Dr. Robotnik, capture Longclaw. Maddie, I'll trick Shadow into coming here too. I commanded as Dr. Robotnik left with his drones. Hey Sonic, I need you to come to my base immediately. All the family will be there, and we both know Shadow will follow you. I told my puppet, magically. Shadow's point of view. I was starting to get worn down from fighting Sonic for so long. This doppelganger that was possessing him was so strong. He wasn't even breaking a sweep. While I was gasping to try and catch my breath, suddenly, Sonic stopped and had a zombie-like stance. Yes, Master, I'm on my way. Sonic said darkly after being in a daze for several minutes as if listening to an order. I knew it was Tamisra. Sonic dashed off towards Tamisra's base. So I followed him and I had the feeling it was gonna get a lot more dangerous and difficult.